Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and in this tutorial, we're going to create an ocean surface that's going to reflect our background. So, something like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new composition, and I'll use the DV preset and choose OK. I'm going to create a new solid, and we're going to make it 1200 by 1200 and choose OK. I'm going to choose Effect, Noise, Fractal Noise and effect blur, fast blur, repeat edge pixels, blurriness 25. Then I'm going to turn it into a 3D layer and rotate it till it's flat and then move it down so it's a floor. Then I'm going to take our cloud image and drag it out, turn it into a 3D layer and then we need to move it to the back. So if we push back on the Z space just till it runs into the back so it looks like a T. And if we go to the top view, we can adjust this to match up a little bit better. Back to the active camera now. Okay, speaking of cameras, let's create a new one. And I'm going to choose the 35 millimeter preset. Choose OK. And what we want to do is duplicate our cloud layer. So let's move it up till it lines up right with the bottom. And let's shut the bottom layer off and choose Edit, Duplicate, and move our second copy of the clouds down and then rotate it upside down. Then move it to line up right with the bottom. And I'm using the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it up and down. Then go ahead and turn on the uh, Fractal Noise layer. Okay, the next step is to pre-compose the fractal noise. So I'm going to choose Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll call this Water Map, and I'll choose OK. Okay, and now I'm going to shut the Water Map off. So the next step is to create the watery refractive surface. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Choose Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. Then we'll use the displacement map of the water map. Then let's increase the amount of displacement happens. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, but let's take our cloud layer and position it one on top of the other, top, bottom, and then parent the bottom to the top so that if we move it around, it stays together. And then let's take the displacement map and move it below the top layer. Now we're getting some spotting in the water. So with the bottom layer selected, choose Tile from the Effects and Presets and take the Motion Tile effect and apply it to the bottom layer. Then increase the height to 150, mirror the edges, and that should take care of that problem. So now we've created the surface and it is in fact 3D. We can um, kind of orbit around here, but the problem is our map is static. So we need to turn on the collapse transformation switch for the water map. And if we look at that layer alone, you can see here it's 3D, but if it's off, our 3D isn't happening. So with the collapse transformation switch on and the layer off, we can then orbit around and create sort of this ocean-like surface. Now let's go ahead and take the Track Z camera tool and just move in till our edges are complete there. And basically we can rotate around this as if it were a large watery surface. Let's go and animate the water surface. So I'm going to Alt double click on the map. And in the fractal noise options we have the evolution. So if we rotate this you can see it sort of animates. So click on the stopwatch for the evolution, move forward a few seconds and We'll go two revolutions, so two times 360. And we'll go back into our main comp, and let's go and preview what we have. Okay, so as you can see, the water surface is now fluctuating. So that's kind of the effect we're after. Um, because our displacement is then linked to this map of the water, anything we do to it in here will affect it inside of this comp. Now let's take the bottom layer of the water and choose Effect, color correction curves and let's just bring the brightness down some 
and let's choose effect color correction tint and let's bring the amount of tint down so it matches with it so the water is basically a little bit darker than the sky so now we can actually animate the camera and let's play that back so what we have is a camera move with the water fluctuating so remember this is all 3D and just like in the previous tutorial you can actually add video elements or logos and place it on the surface of the water with the reflection and create some very cool effects okay well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial my name is Andrew Kramer and you can check me out at videocopilot.net once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.